The Allianz Stadium is home to one of the greatest Italian teams to ever exist. This club has had some of the world's greatest footballers to play for them, including Buffon, Pirlo, Cristiano Ronaldo and Zidane Zidane. That's right, and in today's video, we will be rebuilding Juventus in FC 24 career mode. Juventus have won a staggering 36 domestic Serie A titles, two European Cups, known as the Champions League nowadays and 14 Coppa Italias. Since the 2019-2020 season, Juventus have failed to win the Serie A title, coming fourth twice and failing to reach the top four on one occasion as well. So, in today's rebuild, we're going to hope that we can try and win the Serie A title, win the Champions League and win as many trophies as we can. Without further ado, we're going to jump straight into the first part of the episodes in Season 1 with Juventus. Season 1 transfer window has come to an end and as you can see guys, we have been busy in the first window in this Juventus rebuild. Milik has gone to West Ham for 30 million. I wasn't too sure I wanted to keep him, but I think I prefer Moise Keane on the bench uh, over Milik. Danny Olmo is the first signing of this rebuild build for 54 million from Leipzig. I looked at the squad. We needed a new attacking midfielder, which is why we went for Olmo. Danilo, 32 years old. I did decide to sell him and he has gone to Nice for 18 million. Ryson was the new left back that I did sign. Fairly cheap to be honest, but he looks pretty good. And the left back that I have is just not as good as I thought. So I thought I'd bring in a new left back. Right back, Mazuri from Bayern Munich, 42 million pounds to Juventus. He's 25 and I think he is a good addition at right back because we are really lacking in that position because Juventus actually play with three at the back and then wing backs but I changed the formation and that is why I've signed a left back and a right back and Umpa Meccano is the last signing for this first summer window I did need a new centre back um, obviously I sold Danilo so he obviously wanted to make up with that and brought in Umpa Meccano for Juventus so without further ado I want to show you the squad and the starting 11 for the first season with Juventus so let's get straight into that Okay then guys, as you can see on the screen, this is the starting 11 for Juventus in season one of the rebuild. And it actually looks like a really, really nice team. Obviously, Chesney in goal, 86 rated. He's getting old, but I think he'll do really well for us. Mazzari, right back, who we just signed. And Meccano, again, who we also just signed. Bremer, let's send it back to go with him. Ryson at left back. We've got Kostic and Chiesa on the wings. Uh, Locatelli and Rabio in the middle. I probably will look to probably upgrade them to next season, but for now, they're going to stay there and play together. Olmo, who's going to be in behind Blahovic, who is going to play up top. As you can see on the bench, Moise Keane, McKenney, Weyer, and then a couple of other players. And the, the reserves, not great, to be honest, but we can always look to improve that in the seasons to come. So, without further ado, we're going to jump into season one, and we're going to go see how far we can get in the league, and see if we can win any of the cups that we are in. So, season one is here. Let's see how we get on. Right then, guys, season one is over, and as you can see, Juventus to finish sixth in the table just about edging below Roma I mean the points in that were not too bad apart from Napoli absolutely smashing the league so we have finished sixth which will mean Europa Conference League next season so Juventus are in a European competition next season so I'm kind of glad because I didn't really want to like smash this first season I wasn't too sure the team that I had looked really good um, so it maybe it does, does show that we do need some additions to the team so I'm going to quickly go and check the Italian Cup as well. Um, Napoli obviously won it as well. So they won the league and they won the Coppa Italia. Let's see if we can see Juventus anywhere here. Round of 16, Monza beat us 3-2. So not ideal from Juventus in the first season. But we have qualified for some European football. We need to really improve on the squad. And hopefully we can do that in the next season. So we're going to jump straight into season two, into the transfer market, sign some new players and see how we get on. We are now in season two of this rebuild with Juventus in FC 24 career mode. And as you can see on the screen, Kamavinga and Nico Williams are the two big signings and the only two signings that we are making or have made in the season two transfer window. 80 million for Kamavinga and 60 million for Nico Williams. As you can see, also I've loaned out a load of players that don't really play for me. Uh, unfortunately, they're just not good enough. So without further ado, I want to show you the, the lineup and the squad for season two with Juventus. As you can see here guys the starting 11 hasn't really changed to be honest but Kamavinga and Williams do come into the side. Ryson I'm not too sure about him. I might delay my decision until 
or maybe January or in the next window. Obviously, everyone else has gone up a lot of ratings. Bremer is an 85. Olmo is 85. Velhovic is 86. So I'm not too sure. I'm going to give it another season. Obviously, the bench hasn't really changed. Kostic and Rabio come out. Or Williams and Camavinga. So without further ado, guys, we are going to jump into season two. We are in the conference league. So can we improve on the last season's sixth finish and hopefully finish in a Europa or Champions League spot? So without further ado, we're going to go simulate the season and see where we end up. Right then, guys, we are at the end of season two. And as you can see, Juventus have finished second in the Serie A ahead or behind, sorry, of Napoli on 87 points against our 82 points, which is a massive improvement, obviously, from finishing sixth in the first season. So we are going to go and look at the cup competition. Now, I'm actually really happy with that uh, second place finish. Obviously, a massive improvement from last season. Coppa Italia, we won the Coppa Italia against Atalanta 2-1, which is nice to see. So our first bit of silverware has been obtained and we're going to go look at... Now, I thought it was the Conference League that we got because of sixth place, but I actually, once I was simulating through the calendar, I noticed it was actually the Europa League. So we're going to go and have a look where we finished in the Europa League and we have made it all the way to the final against Marseille. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. Let's just see how we actually got on. Beat Porto 4-2 on aggregate. Uh, we also beat Frankfurt 2-1. Round of 16, we beat Celtic 3-2 and then the round of 32, we even Fika 2-1. So we are in a final of the Europa League to finish off season two. Um, I still won't play the finals unless it's like a Champions League final until we're like towards the end of like the, the video so i'm gonna just go ahead and sim up to this game get to where the game is and i'm just gonna simulate it for you guys and we'll see if we can hopefully lift the europa league title just before we got into the europa league final i wanted to show you vlahovic's goals for the season 40 goals moise keen 17 daniel Mo 16 goals 20 assists so i actually forgot to do this in the first season obviously uh i forgot to just show like the stats and i want to just show you like the top goal scorer top assists and stuff like that so moving on from season two onwards i will make sure i add the stats in at the end of the season just so you can see what signings have done well or who's played well so without further ado we're going to jump into this europa league final and see if we can lift that trophy right then guys as you can see marseille against juventus a few of my players actually aren't really that fit to play um but i am actually going to just chance it and quick sim and see if we can beat marseille and we lost three two unfortunately we look at through the game vitinha scored vahovic scored locatelli vera two and then Vitinha in the 88th or no the 80th minute to lose 3-2 oh it's really unfortunate from Juventus there but we will be in the Champions League next season because we obviously finished second in the league so without further ado we're going to jump straight into season 3 and go straight into the transfer window so then guys season 3 transfers have been completed and as you can see Kunde was the first one that we signed for 90 million from Barcelona he goes straight into the side next to Bremer at the back. Nuno Mendes was the next signing for left back. Ryson just hasn't been growing at all and he just didn't really look that good. So I have decided to bring in Mendes. Hulsek was the next one. He is going to be our net, uh, new backup striker. And then Barcola from PSG. Another squad player because we don't really have that many squad players to be honest. I've only really been investing in the starting 11. Obviously Ryson as you can see has gone to Crystal Palace and then we've loaned out a couple more of the players that don't really play for us. So hopefully they can improve while they are on loan which some of them have to be fair uh, and i've brought them back and i've kept them in the like the reserves or on the bench so without further ado that is the transfers i hope you guys did uh agree with me on these ones because i think the center back and the left back could have been upgraded which that's what we've done so i'm gonna quickly show you the squad and the starting 11 for season three okay then guys as you can see the squad is in the front of you and chesney is the goalkeeper as always next season i'm gonna bring in a new keeper because he is 35 and he is starting to go down the ratings as you can see uh back line has changed because kunde is come in now and so is Nuno Mendes at left back uh, and we've kept the same like sort of team it's just Kunde and Mendes and obviously Hulsek Barcola on the bench uh, along with a lot of other players that are still here and again a lot of young players in and around the reserves uh, who we probably won't use to be honest with you but big season ahead of us we're now in the Champions League with Juventus and obviously we were close to Napoli last season but they've won it two on the trot we want to make sure that we win it and they don't get their third in a row so we're going to dive into season free and see how we get on right then guys we've gone a bit backwards here we finished fifth in the third season the table look how close that actually was but 
unfortunately, it was not to be. The Super Cup, we lost. Oh, no, we didn't even get into that bit, did we? Let me just double check. Okay, we, we lost in the semifinals against Inter, which is annoying. In the Coppa Italia, didn't make it to the final. Oh, we lost on penalties to Inter Milan. Wow. And then the Champions League is the last one to check. Man City, Bayern in the final. Oh, we lost on penalties to Bayern. 6-5. Wow, what a season for Juventus. Losing twice in semifinals in on penalties. Wow, that is very frustrating. I don't really know. This season doesn't look like it's been a great season, to be honest. But Squad Hub, I want to quickly show you the stats for the season. Blahovic again, top goal scorer. I'm not surprised. Barcola actually played a lot of games. Wow. Danny Olmo, 90 rated now. Same at Valhovic, 91 rated. That's incredible. So that concludes season three. Unfortunately, we didn't win anything this season. And we're down to the Europa League next season, which is not ideal. But we have areas to improve on in our squad, which we're going to go do now in the season four transfer window okay then guys season four transfer window has been completed and we have been very very busy in this window i have to say simon was the first signing that we made he is going to be the brand new keeper for us as chesney he, he's like 36 he's losing like he's lost like he's getting like 82 rated now so we've swapped him out Chiesa wanted to leave so i've sent him off to aston villa for 56 million a couple of young, uh, young players going out on loan rabio we've sold 31 i thought i'd just cash in and get the money while i could another couple of youngsters uh branco was someone that we brought in and we sent umpacano the other way to psg uh just wanted to upgrade the defense uh to be honest with you uh marlon to replace chiesa 40 million from chelsea uh camera again kind of to replace rabio just so we have someone that is like spare uh, in the center mid role phil foden is probably the biggest signing we've made so far 135 million pounds from man city He's going to be playing left wing for us. Danny Olmo, unfortunately, his release clause had been paid by AC Milan. So he has gone to AC Milan, which is frustrating because I should have removed the uh, release clause on him. We did bring in Xavi Simmons from PSG. Unfortunately, he won't be joining until the January window because I didn't sign him. I didn't realize Olmo had left until after the window had closed, which is stupid of me. But Xavi Simmons will be coming in in the January window. So without further ado, while I'm here, I'm going to quickly show you the squad that we're going to rock with for the season simon and goal backline stays the same as last season foden on the left uh nico williams is actually going to be trained as a center attacker mid for until january because obviously we don't really have anyone that can play there now to be honest which is kind of frustrating but that is the team Vlahovic still leading the line 91 rated now so without further ado season four is here and we are going to be trying to get back into the champions league and hopefully challenging for the league once again right then guys as you can see the end of season four is here and we have won the Serie A title with Juventus, 92 points compared to AC Milan in second with 79. What an achievement that is from Juventus. We finally won the league, fourth season in. We add that to the uh, Coppa uh, Italia that we won in the, I think, was it first season or second season? I can't remember now, but we didn't manage to win the Coppa Italia this round. Where we, oh wow, we got knocked out on away goals. I didn't realize that was a thing in this competition. I thought it would have gone to penalties, but nonetheless, we've won the league. Where did we finish in the Europa League? And we're in the final against Tottenham Hotspur. Wow, that is going to be a good game indeed. Like we did last time, I will go and simulate the game. I'll show you guys how we get on. Uh, I will also show you the stats for the season. So let's go see the stats for the season right now. Okay then guys, Vlahovic again, absolutely smashing it. 34 goals, 10 assists. Foden with 20 goals, Hulsek 15. Simmons, who only joined in January, 13 goals, 7 assists. He's going to be a key player for us for sure. So yeah, that is the end of the season, but we do have the Europa League final, which we are going to go do now. So hopefully we can win and finally lift some European, uh, oh, have some European success. So season four, we end off with a Europa League final against Tottenham. Let's see how we get on. Right then, guys, as you can see here, we are finally at the Europa League final against Tottenham. Look at that squad. It is honestly a really good team. Obviously, Vlahovic is not. I think he was injured, so I had to put Holsic up front. So hopefully he can do something for us. We're going to quickly simulate this game, and we won 4-2. So we have beaten Tottenham in the Europa League final. Missouri, Williams, and who else got the goals? Let me see. Xavi Simmons and Phil Foden getting the goals. 4-2. Juventus win. So we win the Europa League to add to the league title for the season. 
and then that is the third trophy we've won in this rebuild so into the last trophy that we want for this rebuild is going to be the champions league which we're going to go chase in the next season after winning the league and obviously winning the europa league as well so season five is upon us we need to make a couple more adjustments to the squad i think and then we can really push on for that champions league title so i will be right back with season five and transfers so then guys as you can see on the screen we've only made two signings for the window i think the team that we had is really really good but there was a couple of players that i could probably improve on so as you can see bestoni was the first player that i've brought in he's going to play alongside kunde at the back bremer's going to go on the bench hobel i did sign after i sold simon he's 30 he, he, he looked like he was going to start like to decline in the uh, like the ratings so kobel a year younger and he's 90 rated so i decided to just bring him in straight away and look at that team man i can't believe how good this team is obviously marlon's not that high rated at the moment but he normally does get really high rated but he is 28 so maybe he's not going to develop as much but that is going to be the squad for this season look how many 90 plus rated we have one two three four five six seven eight oh that's just insane i can't believe it and then obviously the defense is still the same Bowden, simmons vahovic um and hopefully so this season we're in the champions league i just want to win the champions league uh obviously if i get to the final of the champions league this season i will play it and then most likely end the video rebuild here because we've won everything that we wanted to but we actually need to get there first so without further ado we're going to jump into season five and hopefully we can claim that champions league title end of season five is here guys and as you can see we finished fourth this season unfortunately we didn't manage to win the Serie A title once again behind inter milan ac milan and napoli once again the tight the league was fairly close but just too many draws by the looks of that 12 draws is not what you want to see but did we win the super cup we lost 2-0 to ac milan in final which is not what you want to see Coppa italia did we manage to win we won 3-1 against inter so we have won our second Coppa italia this uh rebuild so it is down to the big one i don't think we were in that uh i think that was the pre-season tournament the big one the champions league have we managed to get to the final and we have against psg let's just see what we did in the lead up to the final 3-0 well 6-1 on aggro against sporting fair enough to sporting to getting that far in the champions league beat madrid 3-2 round of 16 we then beat man city 3-2 as well so what a result that is for juventus so this is going to be a game that i will be playing live to see if we can climb and win that champions league title obviously we didn't manage to win the Serie A title this season but we won in the uh, Coppa italia so we are going to go straight into this game against psg in the final of the champions league so without further ado let's see if we can win the champions league okay then guys before we dump jump into the game this is going to be the lineup unfortunately velhovic has got a red card and he's out of the final he's gonna be a massive miss but we have holsek up top to cover him it's oh it's unfortunate it really is but we're gonna go with barcola on the right simmons down the middle with um Foden on the left mendez bastone kunde mazuri uh as the back line Kobel in goal nocatelli and camavinga in the middle and then we also got marlon on the bench bremer on the bench camera branco to name a few so without further ado we're gonna go straight into the champions league final and see if juventus can lift the champions league trophy it's Charlie simmons on the ball plays it out wide to barcola gonna cut it back can he Hulsek is in he saved Foden with the rebounded goal to make it 1-0 to Juventus in the final of the Champions League what a goal that is from Phil Foden to put Juventus 1-0 up is Masrari now running through on goal squares it to Simmons oh no Phil Foden now on the ball inside to Camavinga gonna wait for that run of Barcola, but he's not making one. Inside to Simmons. Gonna go around the defender. Simmons to Camavinga. Can he square it to Holsek? He's got the goal. It's Holsek to make it 2 0 to Juventus in the Champions League final. What a goal. Well, I mean, it's not an amazing goal, but a well worked goal from Juventus to make it 2 0 against PSG in the final. Here come PSG now. Mbappe on the ball. Valverde now. Got to make sure we don't get the shot away. And it's a corner for PSG. And Bele plays it short to Valverde. Simmons can't get there. Back to Dembele. It's Mbappe on the ball. Out to Gomez. It's Jesus. It's a good tackle from Camavinga, but they've still got the ball. Shot and it's saved by Kobel. Worrying times there for Juventus. 
but only a corner. Balls whipped in and Bappe's there. Cleared out and keeper can claim and that is half time. The place Simmons inside. Oh, can he find the ball to Locatelli of all people? Holsek, can he get the shot away? Holsek, and he's done it. Holsek gets the goal to make it 3-0 to Juventus against PSG in this Champions League final. Surely that is two hands on the trophy for Juventus. With only eight minutes to go, surely that is the win for Juventus. Here comes De Jong now into Mbappe. Bastone, he squares it to Valverde. Valverde gets one back for PSG out of nothing. It's a good build-up play, but we should not be conceding a goal like that. But it's now 3-1. We should be able to see this one out. Oh, it's a poor pass from Simmons. Going to hold on till the end of the game here. Mbappe coming up the other end. Couldn't they? With the tackle. Olsek, Locatelli. Locatelli's going to go through on goal. Squares it to Simmons. Oh, Simmons can't go through. And that is it. Full time. Juventus are the winners of the Champions League final. What a win that is for Juventus. A really, really solid win. And Holsek, the man who had to replace uh, Vahalovic up front for this game, has actually gone and won it. Well done. What an achievement that is. And we're going to move on into the season review now. And we're going to go look at the player stats and see after a great victory for Juventus in the Champions League final. As you can see, guys, Vlahovic, top goal scorer once again. He's absolutely smashed it in this rebuild. Uh, what a player. We didn't even need to sign a, a proper striker to re replace him. Simmons, again, playing really well. 27 goals 15 assists Odin as well Barcola he's really improved this season and obviously everyone else didn't really play as much but that is the end of today's video what a rebuild absolutely buzzing with that Juventus win the Champions League we won the Serie A title and we won two Coppa Italias within five seasons which is absolutely amazing so this is the end of the video make sure to leave a like comment any teams you want me to rebuild in upcoming videos and I'll see you guys in the next video peace